we got a special young lady. Uh, uh, she's going to do some great things uh, for her family, our community, our neighborhood. And I'm just so elated and excited to have her with us. Uh, if you would, please, once again, give us your name. Gianni Pinkney. And Gianni Pinkney, uh, what school do you attend? Carter G. Wilson Elementary School. What grade are you in? Fifth. And you're going to be sharing a speech with us today, tonight, correct? Yes. Now, what motivated you to want to write this speech? The Martin Luther King Jr. speech, I Have a Dream. Okay. And... Uh, um, I listened to your speech. I was so moved that I said, I can't wait for our listening audience to hear what this beautiful black young lady has to share with the world. So at this time, can you please share your speech with our listening audience? What is a community? A community is a group of people that work together. Schools, churches, and neighborhoods are examples of communities that work together to make the world a better place. My generation consists of young people who will soon grow to be the leaders in our communities. It is important for us to make changes now that can help our communities in the future. If I could change anything of my generation, I would reduce the lack of ownership for our communities. Our generation fails to show respect, value education, or serve others. We currently do not understand that the choices we make now will impact our communities in the future. When I think of respect, I think, think of treating others the way I would want to be treated. Respect is one of the most important aspects you need to help your communities. Confucius once said, respect others and they will respect you. Mutual respect will allow us to work together within our communities. When our generation shows respect, we show that we care about those around us, whether they care about us or not. While speaking to a city year member at my school, I was told showing respect is not a reflection on them, but a reflection of you. Before we can respect <coughs> others, we have to respect ourselves. One of the best ways to show that we care about ourselves and our community is by valuing education. Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon that you can use to change the world. As the future leaders of our communities, our generation must make education a priority. The more knowledge we have, the more we can help our communities because we understand what needs to be done. Knowledge is not just math and reading, but it is learning more about ourselves and others. We should take the time to learn about the people who live in our community so that we know what is needed to help them. Educated people grow to become doctors, nurses, lawyers, and other professionals that make a positive difference in the world. Along with education, community service is another way to show ownership in your community. Our generation needs to focus on kindness instead of selfishness. In my neighborhood, I see homelessness, sickness, mental illness, and pollution. It is our job as young people to find ways to change our community members live the way our communities live. We can start by picking up trash in our areas, donating clothes and important items to those in need, and being a friend to others that are hurting. If we, if we serve our communities now, we will see the difference that it makes on future generations. In the future, I hope to see lower unemployment and homelessness, more teamwork, and more educated people. Our generation is responsible for making this change. Once we take ownership of this responsibility, we can begin to work together to make the world a better place. And if no one wants to take the lead, then the change will start with me. This is where I ask everybody in the booth to please give this young lady a round of applause. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to try my best to see if we can get this printed and published in the Florida Star newspaper because, uh, how old are you? 11. All right. What grade are you in? Fifth. What school do you attend? Carter G. Wilson Elementary School. All right. Now, how long have you been attending Carter G. Wilson Elementary School? Since I've been in kindergarten. Mm -hmm. So you are a product of excellence coming out of Carter G. Woodson Elementary School. Mm -hmm. 
Can we once again give this young lady a round of applause? Uh, for our listening audience, her parents are also in the booth. And uh, uh, these are the type of highlights that we got to have because uh, especially for our leaders who are out there like, man, who's going to take this mantle uh, when we're done and when our work is done? You give us hope, Gianni. You give us hope. Mm -hmm. You give us motivation. You give us encouragement. Yes. So, and not just uh, uh, for us, but even for your peers and your generation. I, uh, uh, and thank you for stepping up, you know, stepping up because there's a lot of people who have a voice and they're scared to let their voice be heard. So thank you for making your voice heard. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> and um, a couple things that you brought up, you talked about respect, which is huge. Uh, you also talked about ownership, which is huge. Uh, talked about community service. And a lot of times, uh, some of my colleagues, we talk about cleaning up a community, but if we don't have the participation from the people who live in the neighborhood, then us cleaning up the community is a temporary fix. But if we have the people from that neighborhood assisting and participating uh, with keeping the upkeep of that neighborhood, it also reduces the amount of tax dollars that the city has to use. And we could possibly re structure that funding that was used for the city to clean it up. Now let's put this money back into education. Let's put this money back into making sure that our parks and our playgrounds are up to par, or even some supplemental resources to help us get some more doctors <laughs> and business owners. Um, but that was so, so powerful. Uh, Ms. Janet, anything you'd like to share or add before we close out this segment? I just want to know one thing. Who is the most inspirational person at your school? I know. There's so many, I'm sure. My teachers. What's your, tell me your teachers' names. Miss Jones. Miss Jones. So shout out to Miss Jones. Woo, Miss mm -hmm. Jones. And Miss Frederick. And, and Miss Frederick. Frederick. Yes. We are appreciating all the wonderful things you are pouring into your children so that your children can take a stand for themselves and for their growth and for their community at large. Thank you so much. All teachers at Duval County Public Schools, but especially Ms. Frederick and Ms. Jones. Thank you so much. Yes, and uh, uh, and I also want to give a shout out because uh, 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 the African proverb says, I am because we are, and we are because I am. So all the teachers at Carter G. Woodson, the admin, uh, the principals, thank you, thank you, thank you for pouring into our babies, pouring into our children. Uh, and at this time, we're going to get ready for our break. Uh, please stay locked and loaded. Uh, to the Impact Radio Show presented by the Florida Star Newspaper. Please get out and support the Florida Star Newspaper. Wow. 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 Wow.